Welcome to the video. Um, let's do an output flange seal on E36. Let's do this. So first things first, this is the back of the trans where the seal is, it's back there. So we gotta get this flange off and then the first thing, we gotta get that nut off. So the nut down there is a 30 millimeter. So you're gonna have to get a thin wall because a normal socket won't fit in there. So I just grinded one down and I put it in there and uh, it's all good. So you blast that off, get that nut out of there. And then um, this flange right here pulls right out. And uh, I pulled mine out, but if you need to use a puller, then go ahead and use a puller, whatever works for you. Behind that, it will be a seal just like this, uh, kind of like a rear main seal or like a front main seal, kind of like that. And then uh, take a seal puller, pull that thing out, and then go ahead and put your new seal in there, tap it all the way around. Or if you need a big socket, you could tap it in there just like that. Uh, that works too. And then uh, once you do that, go ahead and put the flange back on, put that nut back on. And then uh, the service manual that I was reading told me to first crank this thing down to 125 foot pounds, loosen it, and then crank it back down to 89 foot pounds. So um, how I did that was I put a bolt in here or one of the drive shaft bolts, put that in there, and then it held up against this part of the transmission. So the flange didn't spin. I was able to go ahead and crank it down to 125 and 89 to do that. So it keeps it from, it's from spinning. But um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And there's a mouse right there. Holy shit.